hello everyone welcome to this tutorial I'm gonna talk about uh, power hours what it is what it does and why you should get it um, yeah it's a pretty neat add-on and um, before we are getting into it I'm uh, just show you what is going on so I'm standing in front of a uh, boss army in Ironforge I'm just gonna attack it alright so while getting in a rotation uh, you already can see stuff is happening on my stream on my screen so for example this one here the yellow half circle right here is um, showing my uh, slice and dice and its duration then I have a uh, certain procs like find weakness I have my uh, procs of a uh, heart razor and uh, other procs as well this one over here indicates my combo points now if I would be in PvE uh, in PvP and I would expose armor there would be actually a uh, shield that shows me okay this target's armor is is penetrated as well as uh, it could work for thunder armors and you can uh, you can set up how much at how much stacks it should show and uh, whatnot so yeah um, let's just make a new one for this for the sake of this tutorial let's say we want to track our mungus mungus enchant from uh, one of our weapons so while fighting against the dummy there we go we got lightning speed proc and this is the important thing we get to uh, know the name of our proc or debuff we are want to track so this is uh, lightning speed I'm just gonna save it like this all right now once you install power hours you can just access it, access it by slash power and you see a bunch of stuff I already edited uh, but there's plenty of room for like a lot of a lot of debuffs and buffs you want to track so let's just make a new one uh, by default it has this white circle over here but power hours has by default like a lot of different icons you can just set them up how much you want uh, like the opacity uh, symmetry deformation you can make it glow you can uh, insert random colors so you can you can just make it green let's just make it green and like a pretty big size or, or like very small even okay, let's just make it super big so you guys know what's going on okay um, the first thing we need to do is uh, the activation it's gonna get activated by a buff because we are uh, tracking our buff uh, it's not stacking any or anything like this so it's just equal zero now the name of the buff was lightning speed you can uh, put in exact name here but you don't really need to uh, just leave everything uh, like it is on default unless you wanna specify your your buff uh, a little bit more like um, show only in combat or only in raids uh, only if you're on mount on your targets on your focus party member whatever you can as well animate it um, by having a zoom in like this and you can actually like animate the speed and everything you can add a sound to it and a timer even so uh, yeah now we got this actually set up already since we just type in buff zero stacks lightning speed everything leaves like this and just edit the, the symbol however you want it if you're exiting now by pressing escape everything should be normal by hitting the boss again we're gonna wait for our lightning speed to proc or our mungus and there we go it just procced so that's our lightning speed it procced and we can track it here it's pretty neat since um you know in raids you might have like two two rows of buffs or even three rows of buffs or debuffs and you you can't really track them super super quick as as quick as you need to so at sometimes so you like it's very very nice that you have this visual indicator that just uh yeah it shows you your buffs and debuffs yep so uh you can do the same with uh, debuffs as well let me just go through my power hours what do I have here um, I have this slice and dice as I showed before and I have um, a silence displayed for uh, whatever targets I got like for example I, I can open with a garret it would silence my target let's see if it works there we go and it's got silence up as long as it's silenced so what else do we have yes yeah, my fine weakness obviously Coupe de Gras. This was a uh, an old one. And I have my uh, ring from uh, 
from high jump. So when this one is uh, proccing, I get uh, this little symbol over here. Combo points, Wrath of the Astromancer, let's say I'm fighting against um, uh, Solarian. And I uh, get the debuff, the living bomb, it would show like this. So I know that I am the bomb and I have to run into my raid and cloak and scare the shit out of them. <laughs> hey. But yeah, um, what else is there? Like cyclones on the targets or divine shields, whatever. You, ca you can set it up ho however you want, like blessing of protection I got as well. My focus here. Yeah, days and whatever, presence of mind. Pretty neat, like uh, it shows a danger when uh, I have a mage in focus, let's say, and um, he's popping his uh, presence of mind. I can just see it here by, by saying danger, so I need to know, like, okay, now there's gonna be a pyro coming, I need to vanish it, or or stuff like that. But yeah, it's, it's very neat. Yep. So yeah, um, that's it about power hours so far. Um, what else can I show you guys? Yeah, by uh, if you want to delete something, just like the, the lightning speed I just did, you press down control and then you can delete it. Yeah, I have like a bunch of, bunch of stuff here, it's pretty pretty neat. Like uh, interines for example, in, uh, in the arena, on your focus target uh, and it w you see instantly like the intervene symbol. And you can just like focus throw them and you know you can blind them right away because th because it's down. And yeah, uh, that's it for, so for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the tutorial and find it useful. If you have any questions left, just uh, ask me in-game or leave a comment, whatever. Uh, I, I will be getting back to you and answer as much as I can. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and see you, see you later.